Hi and welcome back to my channel. I am making this video in just a few sections. Right now I'm going to tell you about my ear and puzzles. That's the first thing. Then I will give you a very brief slideshow of all the puzzles that I completed in 2022, which were 38. And then I will also talk to you about the puzzles and the goals that I have for 2023, more specifically, the first six months of 2023. So I think what I'm going to do now is this is basically my introduction. I'll edit it in and then I'm going to start showing you some of the highlighted puzzles.
Okay, I'm not quite sure how this is going to go, but when I complete, by the way, empty shelves are because I have puzzles that I would like to show you that I want to focus on from January through June of this year. Now, I forgot to tell you, my goal is 150 puzzles. Doesn't mean that I'm going to meet that. As a matter of fact, I might even just set my goal at 100. How about we do that? 100 puzzles for 2023. Maybe in June we can revisit that goal. I do that also with reading. With Goodreads, my reading challenge had been 500 for a couple of years. I lowered it to 400 for 2022 and I end up reading 584 books. So for uh, 2023, I set my reading goal at 450. And I'm gonna say from jigsaw puzzles between 100 and 150. Now, when I complete my jigsaw puzzles, I take a few photos and then the puzzles go back in the box. But there are a small, very, very small selection of puzzles that I did not uh, disassemble and that I have kept assembled. Now, the first two that I showed you, I'm going to show you now, I have not yet decided how to save this puzzle, so I'm hoping that it stands up to uh, this video. This is one of these lenticular uh, messy kitten, messy bedroom kitten puzzles by Puzzler.com, which is a prime 3D puzzle. So I saved this because it's a 3D puzzle, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping you can kind of see the 3D effect in this video. Now, when I edit this video, if the 3D effect doesn't come through well, then maybe I will just like do some close-up screenshots. All right, so let's try to get the one that's underneath it. The other one is called Great White Shark. Now these puzzles are not sealed in any way, so I am taking a risk, especially since I'm sitting down. This is Great White Shark, another lenticular 3D puzzle from Puzzler.com. And by the way, I am an affiliate for Puzzler. And I saved these. I don't know where they're going to go in my apartment, but I, I would like to do something with these puzzles. And until I decide what to do with these puzzles, they are going to remain assembled. So now I'm going to pause the video so that I can move them away from here. Okay, so in no particular order, I'm going to show you these Cobble Hill puzzles that I have um, glued. And... I want to let you know that when I glued these puzzles, at first when I put them under my bed, I did not have um, foam board. But now they are being saved between foam board with binder clips. A couple of these you're going to notice that there are some missing pieces, but I have recovered those missing pieces. I just have to repair them before I do whatever it is I have in mind for them. So the most recent Cobble Hill puzzle I did was purple. And I know that I could stand up so that you can see me in the puzzle, but just bear with me and take it as you see it, Cobble Hill purple. Just bear with me. Like I said, I'm not showing you these in any particular order. These are just how I picked them up. This is Cobble Hill green. I wanna make sure it's not upside down. Yep, so Cobble Hill green. Here is Cobble Hill Yellow. So these three are completely intact. It's the other three that I have a couple of small repairs to make. Okay, so that's Cobble Hill Yellow. You know, this is my third time doing this part of the video. The first two times I didn't turn the camera on. This is Cobble Hill Yellow, which Again, has some missing pieces, but I just have to do a little bit of repair work. I have the pieces put aside. Whoops, I'm not even showing you the whole puzzle. And this is actually my favorite. But between me going back and forth underneath the bed and my cats, a couple of pieces got separated. Let's see what else can I show you. I showed you purple already. I think I just have one more. No, two more to show you. Cobble Hill Red which again has a missing piece. I can show you right there at the corner, but I've got it. I just have to fix it. So this is Cobble Hill Red. 
I promise you for the duration of the video after I show you these puzzles, I won't be covering my face, but it's just, it's just easier to do it this way. And then this is Cobble Hill Blue. Now this is the first Cobble Hill uh, Rainbow series puzzles that I did and glued. And I accidentally used Glitter Mod Podge, but it was a happy accident. I think it's gorgeous. So that's my Cobble Hill Blue. So those are my Cobble Hill puzzles that I saved. As mentioned, a little repair work needs to be done. Like for that red, I've got to fix this piece. The oranges are over there underneath those Ravensburger puzzles. And I'll fix all of that up. So let me shut the camera off and set up for my next phase of the video. Okay, I'm back. I have no idea in which order I'm going to share to edit this video together. I'm trying to get rid of the clothes on my left and right just so you can see the puzzles. Now... Why I mentioned, might have mentioned already that I have some empty shelves is because I thought I would show you the first batch of puzzles I plan on doing in 2022. What I'm not going to show you are from two series. Any evil puzzles, because there's like 15 of them up here, I will throw those in randomly and I have no idea which of those 15 I'm going to do. The other batch of puzzles that I'm not going to pull out to show you specifically are these 750 piece cat puzzles by Buffalo. I'll be doing quite a few of these this year. So other than not showing you the cat puzzles and the evil puzzles in this video, let's talk about what I plan on doing in 2023. Now, I just hopefully in this in the order I in which I edit, I will show you that I have completed six of the seven rainbow. Now, an okay, so the next Cobble Hill puzzle that I have to do in order to complete the rainbow series is Cobble Hill Pink. Okay, so this is my next Cobble Hill puzzle. I have two other Cobble Hill puzzles that kind of go in that series and kind of don't. This is going to be a challenge. This is Cobble Hill black and white. So when I was collecting the rainbow series, I had to get the black and white one. So after pink, this will be the next Cobble Hill puzzle. Not necessarily the next puzzles I will be doing, but the next puzzles in that from that company that I will be doing. Then my last in the rainbow series series is actually Cobble Hill Rainbow. Now I'm going to bring this up to the camera so you can take a good look at this rainbow gradient puzzle. Okay. So that is going to complete all of the rainbow puzzles. The seven rainbow, black and white, and then the rainbow itself. Then I have even more Cobble Hill puzzles. I think I'm just going to pull my table over. Yeah, I think that'll work. Okay, so there are four elements, okay? Earth, water, air, and fire. Yes, I was looking to make sure I said them correctly. So I have those four puzzles. This one is earth. And again, I'm going to try to hold it kind of at an angle to avoid some of the glare, but that's earth. I'm on this side. And then this is fire. This is my favorite of the four. So this is fire. I have no idea in which order I will do these four. But these are all puzzles that I'd like to do in the first half of 2023. And then we have water. Okay. And last but not least, we have air. Okay. So, so again, none of these puzzles are in any particular order in which I plan on assembling them. But these are the ones that I am going to do during the first half of the year. At least the ones that I hope to do. Time and unforeseen occurrence befall us all. What is that? Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. So this is Country Store at Night. This is a Machizo puzzle. But I want to tell you about this one. This is by an, um, a world-class professional photographer named Jim Begley. 
okay? And there's a little bit of a story on the back of the box. So this one is Country Store at Night. I believe Begley has one more and I do have that on order, but I don't know if I'm gonna include that in the first half of 2023. But this is Jim Begley's Country Store at Night, a Machizo puzzle. Now, Machizo puzzles I find are with a secondary company. In this case, that secondary company is the Depot Street. Okay, sorry for blocking my face. So, along with that Jim Begley puzzle, I'm also going to be doing Iron Horse number nine. Okay, now I did not know until I read this, and then I know there's something on the inside because a friend of mine read me something even more that this is based on a real train, okay? A real train that is in a museum. And the photographer, after taking a picture of this over 10 years ago, created this gorgeous, gorgeous image. This puzzle is going to be assembled by at least five of us puzzle friends from a group called the Puzzle Family or the Puzzle Pandemonium Group. And I think we're starting this on the weekend. So this will be one of the first. Well, actually, I completed one puzzle already this year. I'm 80% done with the second puzzle of this year. I'll do one more puzzle and then I will start and work on this one. Now, if you saw my slideshow, you would have seen that I did one Doddle puzzle this year. There are so many Doddle puzzles that I want, but I will not buy any more until I complete Boston Market, okay? All of the Doddle puzzles take place at a specific location, not just across the United States, but across the world. And they're all finely detailed like this. I'm in love with these puzzles, but I have uh, conditioned myself to make sure I can prove that I have the ability to work with a thousand piece, very, very detailed puzzle such as this. Should I complete this, I will get some more of the Doddle puzzles. Now I have, I think, three marine puzzles from Buffalo. I've I have four, but I've done one and I have three I have not yet done. So this turtle is one of the ones that I would like to do during the first half of 2023. And this is uh, called Tiny Bubbles, Tiny Bubbles, again, from Buffalo, Tiny Bubbles. I think I'll say, no, I'll just pull this one out. I'll just go in this order. Again, these are gonna be done randomly but these are all going to be done this, hopefully this year. Now, the next one, two, five puzzles are gradient puzzles. I may have a couple more, I'm sure I have a couple more, but the five that I'd like to work on, one every month, so I might pick out one more gradient puzzle so that I could do one in January, one in February, and so forth. So, in no particular order, I have this Lego puzzle, Lego bricks, okay? So that's one of my gradient puzzles for 2023. Now that I think about it, I wish I had grabbed a sixth one, but we'll just go with these five for now. Then we have this blue kazoo puzzle. Look at this round gradient puzzle. You see that black in the middle? So that's a round gradient puzzle by blue kazoo. I have done one of their puzzles. Now this one, this company here, Cloudberries, I only have this puzzle by them, and it's a gradient, obviously, because we're talking about gradient puzzles. But this is a Cloudberries puzzle called Gradient, simple name, and I don't have any more Cloudberries puzzles, but I will, you know, one day down the line once I solve some of the puzzles that I have. So my next gradient puzzle that I'd like to do, and this was recommended by one of the viewers that watches this channel. She mentioned this in my comment section and I got it. It is my first and only truffle puzzle. And hopefully I will like working with this puzzle brand. And if I do, then I will down the line get some more. I'm gonna slow down on buying puzzles until I knock off the first half of this year. Um, so this is a uh, truffle bricks. I think it's li literally called truffle bricks. Well, it's gradient, but we'll call it gradient bricks. It's just called gradient. 
Actually, I have two puzzles called Gradient. And my last Gradient puzzle that I have pulled out is Gradient Moon, and this is by Machizo. And I wanna see if there's any other companies because sometimes Machizo will have two company names, but nope, it just has Machizo, no other company names. So I have three Machizo puzzles picked out for 2023, at least the first half, and this is Gradient Moon. So those are all my gradient puzzles that I'd like to work on. Okay, my pile wants to couple over. Now, I have a couple other, well, first let me show you this one. This was given to me, I believe by my daughter, if I'm not mistaken, and I've never worked on it. So I definitely want to work on it. This is simply called Book Club, and it is a Gallison puzzle. And it's going to be a challenge, but I'm looking forward to doing it. So this I hope to work on sometime during the month of January. So that's a Gallison puzzle. Now this puzzle here, the next five puzzles are all mystery puzzles. And this is by a company called Be Puzzled, and it's Murder by the Pyramids. Now, there's also one called Murder on the Nile or Murder by the Nile, and maybe even a, no, there's more. Sherlock Holmes, Foul Play, Alfred Hitchcock, Instable, Titanic. So I have only one of these, but this is one. Now, with these mystery puzzles, there will be a page or a booklet that will have a mystery that needs to be solved by means of the puzzle. So this is my first time trying this brand. Another brand that I've never tried before is this Agatha Christie puzzle. And again, it's going to be a story that I will follow in order to solve the puzzle. With all of these mystery puzzles, what's on the box is not representative of what's on the puzzle itself. There's going to be some differences in order for us, the solver, to solve the puzzle. So that is my Agatha Christie puzzle. Now, I only have five of these. I want six so I can do one each month, but I only have five. And my next, no, I only have four. Take it back. I just looked at my pile. I made a mistake. I only have four. This is um, the Sting of Apep. This is a white mountain puzzle. Again, all of these frames are going to vary one way or another. I will read a printout that's going to give me a mystery and I will assemble the puzzle, compare this, picture to the puzzle that I complete with the story and hopefully solve that mystery. My last one, I thought I had five, but there's only four here. It's another mystery puzzle by White Mountain and this is Death in Paris. Now there are more mystery puzzles, but I guess I only have the ones that I'm showing you. So again, you have the different frames, you have your story, and then when you assemble it, you compare the two and then you can solve it. So I want to do one of these for each month. The reason I made a mistake and thought I had another mystery puzzle is I have another White Mountain puzzle that was in that stack. And this is a Boston collage puzzle. Now, I also have an I Love New England, but depending on how time is, I don't think I'm going to be able to get to that during the first half of the year. And I want to revisit my goals for 2023 and maybe I Love New England will come up after July. So this is Boston. So that's going to be coming up. I am almost at the end of my stack here. Now, I hear so much about this brand Springbok. Now this puzzle came out I'm hoping that there'll be something on the back, but there's not anything that tells me when this puzzle was released. But, okay, this is only 2020. This is not a classic. I hear so much about this brand. Let's hold it the right way. So I want to try it. And it's going to be a little bit of a challenge with all that pink and purple candy, mostly pink. So this is, uh, it's... It's called Candy Galore, and it's my only spring block puzzle. So I did try to select a few puzzles from brands that I don't have to see if I can 
acquaint myself with different brands. Now, this is a known name puzzle, but it's a African American woman oil painting puzzle that my sister gave me. It's just so beautiful that I have to try it, no name or not. I have no idea what the quality is like, the piece size, whether it sticks, whether it's loose, nothing. I have no idea, but this will be one of the ones I do this year. Then I picked out four Ravensburger, yeah, four Ravensburger puzzles to work on during the first half of 2023. And during, um, during the latter part of 2022, I completed the Awesome Alphabet A, which you would have saw in the slideshow. So this is Awesome Alphabet B. So I'd like to accomplish this one. And also C and D. So the, these will be for the first part of the year. These two Awesome Alphabet puzzles. Another Ravensburger puzzle I really would like to work on would be this uh, universe. And this one here is called Planet, Planetary Vision. This Ravensburger puzzle. I think almost every single puzzle I've shown you so far has been 1,000 pieces. So this Planetary Vision puzzle is one of the ones that I would like to do. My last Ravensburger puzzle I want to work on is one I've had for two years now, maybe three. And it's a Disney Pixar puzzle. Nothing special about it other than the fact that it's been in my stash for so long that it's about time that I work on it. That's the main reason I chose this one to go in the first half of the year. Then I have this Anatolian puzzle. And this is another beautiful African woman, and it's a thousand piece puzzle from a brand that I love so far called Anatolian. So this will be one of the puzzles I do. And I'm gonna shut this off and get three more puzzles. Okay, I have done maybe three 500 piece puzzles over the year and one in a few 750 piece puzzles, but mostly 1000. I do want to move up in size, but not really much in 2023. So the three larger piece puzzles that I'd like to work on the first half of this year are 1500 piece puzzles. I don't think I'll work on them during the first quarter of the year. Maybe I'll pick these up in March or April, but they do fit in the first six months of the year. And this is one of them and it's um, Anatolian and astronomy puzzle called Stargazer. This was gifted to me and it's a 1500 piece puzzle. So this is one of the ones that I hope to work on, Stargazer. This one I bought on Amazon is called Beach Cabin, another 1500 piece puzzle. So I'd like to do this one during the first part of this year. And the last puzzle I'd like to show you in this video is another Ravensburger puzzle, a 1500 piece puzzle that I've had for about three or four, about three years. So I'm not ready, quite ready to jump into 1500 pieces, but when I am, I have three in my stash. Will I buy more 1500 piece puzzles? Only time will tell. I've got plenty of 1000 piece puzzles to keep me busy for at least a year. So but I do want to move up in size. Maybe in 2024, I can look at 2000 piece puzzles and maybe a higher count, but I'm, go I'm going to stay with what is comfortable for me. And those are the three larger piece puzzles that I'd like to work on during the year. So what else would I like to talk about before I end this video? Well, let's talk about what I did over the course of the year for types of puzzles. Now, the most common puzzle that I have worked on during 2022 was Buffalo. I did, of 38 puzzles, I did 15. The next most common puzzle, the most frequent puzzle, were the Cobble Hill Rainbow puzzles. I did six of those. White Mountain, four. Love White Mountain. How many did I pick out for next year? Three. 
So I, I love white mountain. I've done four over the course of 2022. By the way, I don't know if I said this, but I only started doing puzzles again in October. So what you're seeing here is just three months worth of puzzling in this whole first part of the video. So during that three month time frame, I did get four white mountain puzzles done. And then after that, the only other brand that I did more than one puzzle were Ebu. I did two Ebu puzzles and two Ravensburger puzzles and two of those lenticular puzzles. Everything else, Dotto, Machizo, Seiko, uh, Suns Out, Blue Kazoo, and Schmidt, I only did one of each. So those are my statistics on the breakdown of brands that I've done. And it looks like the brands that I'm going to be doing for 2023 are the Anatolian, the Buffalo, the Ravensburger, White Mountain, um, Machizo, Blue Kazoo, Cloudberries, Lego, Dowdle, um, Machizo, if I haven't already said it, Ebu, Anatolian, a no-name brand, and Springbok and Gallison. So I will be doing a variety of puzzles in 2023. Now, this channel name is Robin Loves Reading and All the Things. So you're going to be seeing my year-end reading video shortly, hopefully soon. But I also diamond paint. And I want to get back to cross-stitching, maybe adult coloring. I never finished my miniature. I never finished my Lego. So I love that I decided to keep this channel, Robin Loves Reading and all the things, so that based on the thumbnail, if I use a thumbnail, in most cases I do, but not quite always, but when you see the thumbnail, you know that there's going to be a variety of what I do as far as uh, activities on this channel. So you'll see the daily, almost daily book reviews, at least every other day, but you'll see book reviews. You're going to see puzzle hauls. You're going to see whatever, but hopefully you'll see regular content. Do I have any life goals? Well, I can talk about that maybe in another video altogether. But for this channel, all I want is to inspire others to enjoy whatever it is that you enjoy. Do you enjoy diamond painting? Do you enjoy jigsaw puzzles? Do you enjoy reading? Whatever it is, hopefully I can be some sort of inspiration to you to take time away from the stress and woes of this world that we live in and have an avenue that can help redirect our thinking and our concentration and give us something else to focus on while we cope with everything that's going on in our lives. And so what I like to do is utilize my time and I have a cat trying to come over. I don't want him to hit the camera. I try to use utilize my time to break down my life in such a way that I can, you know, do different things that will bring joy to my viewers. So I want to thank you for watching. And now I will try to edit all of this together before the cat comes. But thank you again. Bye bye.